Are electric cars the biggest industrial scam of this decade? Well, according to Toyota CEO Koji Sato, they've been working on a new fuel that could just destroy the whole EV agenda. The CEO is definitely not an electric vehicle lover and hates the idea of going all electric like the world leaders are pushing for. You want to jump in and give you a ride to Washington? Come on, we're ready. But then why are Toyota flooding the market with these EV cars? The answer is pretty obvious when you think about it. It's because they're forced to participate in the EV market by the world leaders who are pushing the agenda to ban combustion car engines. Despite this, Toyota's been secretly working on a new fuel type that can make the combustion car engine enthusiasts very happy again. In this video, we're going to answer why the Toyota CEO is so skeptical about the EVs, what the world leaders do not want you to know about EVs, and of course, when will this new alternative fuel they've been working on come out? Let's get to it. The saga began during the tenure of Toyota's former CEO, Akio Toyota, who was ultimately terminated from the company due to his hesitancy to fully adopt electric vehicles. It raises the question, why would the leader of one of the world's most prominent automobile manufacturers resist what many deem an unavoidable trend of the future? Toyota adopted a forward-thinking stance, aligning himself with a significant yet not very loud group in the car industry that had doubts about a future dominated solely by EVs. The former CEO consistently advocated for a comprehensive approach, emphasizing that the way forward is to explore a variety of powertrain technologies, not just EVs. His vision encompassed hybrids, plug-in hybrids, vehicles powered by hydrogen, a mysterious new fuel Toyota was developing, and indeed even battery electric vehicles. The ex-CEO was quoted as saying, People involved in the auto industry are largely a silent majority. That silent majority is wondering whether EVs are really okay to have as a single option, but they think it's a trend so they can't speak out loudly. The right answer is still unclear. We shouldn't limit ourselves to just one option. He said that while many were considering EVs as the sole path to carbon neutrality, the real enemy was carbon itself, not the type of powertrain. Adding to that, people were absolutely shocked when the new CEO boldly told world leaders about the potential dangers of getting rid of cars that run on gasoline and diesel. We'll dive deeper into that topic later on. According to Toyota, electric cars that run solely on batteries, also known as BEVs, aren't the only answer to achieving a carbon-neutral world. He really pushed for having a mix of different types of eco-friendly cars. And now, just to be clear, I totally get that he spent his whole career working on traditional gas engines, so of course he's got a bit of a soft spot for them. But he also brought up some really solid points. And as we're about to dive into, a bunch of the big car companies are actually on Toyota's side here. He was really concerned about us running out of important materials like lithium and the special kind of nickel you need for batteries, thinking it could cause some big problems with how we get our stuff in the next 10 years. Plus, Toyota wasn't too happy about how fast the government folks were expecting everyone to just switch to electric cars. He pointed out a bunch of hurdles, like not having enough charging stations everywhere, people in different places wanting different things, and how expensive electric cars can be. Even though it might seem like Toyota was against change, under his leadership, the company didn't completely turn its back on electric vehicles. They set aside a big chunk of money, $70 billion, for electric and hybrid vehicles over the next nine years. But then things took a turn for the worse. Akio Toyota ended up losing his position because of all the debates around electric cars. At 66 years old, he was more than just the CEO. He really stood for what the corporation Toyota was all about. He believed that people should have the freedom to choose what kind of car they want to drive, instead of being pushed into electric cars. But because of his beliefs, Toyota ended up being seen as one of the companies that was really holding back progress in 2022 and they were put in the same category as big oil companies like ExxonMobil. Toyota wasn't the only one raising his voice about the super quick shift to all-electric vehicles. Oliver Zipsy, the big boss at BMW, warned that putting all our eggs in the EV basket could make us too dependent on just a few countries, especially since China has a tight grip on most of the stuff we need to make batteries. Carlos Tavares, who's in charge of both Stellantis and Jeep, also threw in his two cents saying that completely banning gas guzzlers could lead to some serious social issues that we might not be able to handle. On a different note, Honda CEO, who's been in the engine-making game for more than 30 years, confessed that even though this whole switch to electric might seem a bit scary to him on a personal level, at the end of the day, it's all about what's good for the business. 
And now, get ready for some huge news that could turn the whole EV world upside down. Toyota's bringing in the ammonia engine. Yes, you heard it right. Teaming up with GAC Motors, Toyota's cooked up an engine that solves all the problems traditional engines have. And the cherry on top? It can be fitted into any old car that runs on gas. So you won't have to say goodbye to your beloved ride because of government bans. Ammonia, which is made up of one nitrogen and three hydrogen atoms, is showing some real promise for internal combustion engines, promising to burn clean with almost no CO2 emissions. GAC and Toyota have managed to make a prototype that runs on liquid ammonia, something that used to be possible only for big ships and heavy-duty machines. Discovering that a 2-liter 4-cylinder engine can pump out 161 horsepower while cutting carbon emissions by 90% is nothing short of revolutionary. This could really change the game in the auto world, making our air cleaner and our cars greener. Even though some folks have given Toyota flack for not jumping on the electric bandwagon fast enough, their plans for the future are nothing short of bold. They're picturing EVs that can go over 600 miles on a single charge by 2026, and even more after that. The first of these next-gen EVs will roll out under their fancy Lexus brand, packing a state-of-the-art lithium-ion battery. Toyota's not stopping there, though. They're looking at super-fast production methods and designing cars that slip through the air like a hot knife through butter. While they're all in on electric and hydrogen, they're not ditching traditional engines just yet. They're committed to giving customers a whole buffet of options, making sure there's something for everyone. What's your take on Toyota's strategy? Should they ditch traditional engines once and for all? Or do you agree with their approach in searching for different energy solutions? Drop your thoughts in the comment section. I'm eager to hear from you.